What's up guys, welcome back to Malt Mondays, and today we're taking a look at the Balvenie 14 year old Caribbean cask. I think it's got with the accidentally drive up the Talisker. Now, the Balveni 14-year-old Caribbean cask follows a very similar principle to Balveni's other standard line of whiskeys, the 12-year-old double wood, uh, the 21-year-old port wood, the 17 double wood, uh, in that they are using a finishing process. So Balveni's aging this whiskey for right at 14 years, basically, in uh, American oak casks, previously held bourbon. Um, Maybe those are first fill, refill, we don't really know. And then they are transferring it to a rum cask for some period of time. I believe it says a few months. Um, yeah, I don't see it on here specifically, um, but I do know they say on some of their other bottles, the time period, and traditionally it's a few months. Um, so it's a light finishing, uh, but what that does for you is it really lets you control the influence of that flavor more. Uh, if you were to age it exclusively in rum casks, um, then it might be way too powerful in terms of the flavor of the rum versus the whiskey. And Balvenie's style tends to be pretty light in general. Um, and so I think David Stewart, uh, at least his style as a master distiller, is to really highlight his spirit and the Balvenie spirit um, and use the cask finishing process as a way to add to that rather than uh, kind of the way McAllen might do it where McAllen is really all sherry cask, or at least for a long time it was, uh, and they're kind of showcasing their cask selection more than, you know, other aspects of the brand. So um, I like that this comes in kind of a, a different, a uh, very different looking uh, tin than the others in terms of color. Um, it makes it stand out and it's bottled at 43%. So again, we have above 40% ABV, um, not much, but it still does make a difference. And Balveni doesn't add artificial coloring, uh, according to the uh, North American brand ambassador for Glenfiddich, which is the parent company of Balveni. Um, so that may be different in your market, and it's possible she misspoke when she told me that, but uh, I do believe that Balveni's natural color in the American market. So a nice golden color, which makes sense, rum, once it's been Asian casks, it's gonna, it tends to be a darker spirit. Um, and so right away on the nose of this, it's really quite floral. And actually, I would say the aroma of this whiskey is very, very similar to the Balvenny 12-year-old single barrel um, in terms of the, the vanilla notes, the really light, Some nuttiness, uh, some honey, just a little bit of citrus in there. But where this whiskey starts to get different is there's a little bit more of a spiciness. Um, and it has a little bit more of a tropical fruits um it's like it doesn't really smell like rum i would say it smells way more like whiskey than rum but i think even if you didn't know that this was aged in a rum cask 
uh, you would be able to tell that it's not in just a bourbon cask, not in a sherry cask uh, or port cask or any of the other typical um, typical finishings. I think it's got just enough of a different aroma uh, that really separates it from those. Although I think the rum is pretty restrained on the on the smell. So no no sharp alcohol burn on the nose. Um, smells well put together. I really like the nose on this one. I do wish it was a little more intense, um, but again, Balvenny is a lighter whiskey, so let's see how it tastes. So, I really like this whiskey um, for a couple of reasons. It's got a really nice brown sugar note to it uh, that you pretty much never get in whiskey. There's there's some whiskeys that you might get like a creme brulee, like a burnt sugar, but this really has that brown sugar, that syrupy flavor to it from the molasses, um, from the rum. And it's, it's really, really gives it this nice thick oily feel, despite how light the nose is. And I think that, I think the nose is actually the weak part of this whiskey. Um, the, the nose makes you think it's going to be a really, really light flavored whiskey. Um, and I don't think that's quite the case. I'm getting a little more of the oak on the nose now after tasting it, now that my palate's kind of adjusted to the sweetness of the whiskey. I'm noticing more of those spices and oakiness, but still very not much because it is a younger whiskey. Um, but It's really, really quite smooth. Um, almost suspiciously smooth for a $60, $70 uh, bottle of scotch. I think it's definitely smoother than the 12-year-old Doublewood. Um, you do get some of the spiciness in your mouth, but again, I think that's from the rum, from the spice flavors in the whiskey, uh, not so much from the alcohol. No burn in your throat at all. Um, Get a lot of vanilla, a little bit of like uh, nutmeg, um, and then the finish actually is kind of dry, um, but there's not much of a finish here, and so I, I think this whiskey is really if if you are somebody who's not a whiskey drinker. Um, and you're trying to get into scotch, you're looking for something a little more approachable, uh, I think this is actually a really good place to start because it's definitely on the sweeter side. Um, it's not super complex. It's very approachable. It's really smooth. I think pretty well priced at 60 to $70 uh, for what you're getting, um, especially considering the 15-year-old jumps up to $110, $120. Um, now, there's a reason for that. It's a single barrel whiskey, higher ABV, etc. But I think um, in the market, there's not very many rum cask whiskeys. So you're getting something not unique there, um, but definitely uh, not your standard 14 year old scotch. And I think, especially if you like rum at all, you're going to like this. It definitely has those rum flavors. Um, and while they're not overpowering, most of the flavor is still the base spirit. Um, I think it enhances it really nicely. So I, I do think this is a great um, beginner scotch and a great scotch to try if you're looking for different flavors. Um, but I, I don't think 
this is going to really wow you if you're looking for complexity um, in any sense. I think you really want to um, look at some something else. Uh, and under the $100 price point, that's hard to find a lot of really good complex whiskeys. Um, but that being said, I think this is a great buy, and I would definitely recommend you try it. So if you have tried the Balvenie 14 year old, let me know down in the comments below and uh, let me know what you think of it, whether you like it or not and why. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.